guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft with Suljin. When we last left off, we were going to go out and harvest some saplings so we can get our tree form planted. Another thing that I'd like to do this episode is get us a, a little bridge going so that we can kind of connect the two land masses but still keep this channel intact. So... I gathered up a few things, namely um, my shears, so that we can harvest uh, the actual brush from the trees and still get the uh, the saplings from it. And a couple of signs to make some labels, a little bit of wood and a crafting table so I can actually make a door for that thing. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is just pop a door out for it. There we go. And we're going to just get right into harvesting here. Another thing I need to make is some flint and steel just to burn this excess stuff. But I've chopped so many trees down. It's like, uh, it's like clear cutting. You see that? When you chop them down with a, uh, with shears, you actually get to keep the brush. Now, I don't know if I'm getting saplings, am I? Mm -mm. Maybe they don't drop saplings when you, uh, when you use shears. I don't know. Uh, let's try something different then. Let me go where I can actually reach this stuff. The trees are so high over here. Kind of disorienting when you're uh, when you're looking straight up like that. Any saplings yet? No. I'm starting to wonder. Yeah, there's a sapling. Let's try it with the shears again. Not real sure about that, y'all. Although I'm pretty sure that we do have enough brush, so I don't want to take the chance. Spend too much video time. I'm just going to zoom through this right quick and uh, get a few more saplings. You guys sit tight. guys we gathered up quite a few saplings um, 20 to be exact um, now we're going to do some planting and also install some lighting in here so we already have light enough for the trees but I'd like to light the top of it as well so what I'm going to do here is let's see I think the middle part was marked by this flower here let's see here one two three four five six seven yeah right there so let's go ahead and open us up a little hole and place a door perfect now now it looks more like a finished product so another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up top and we're gonna install some stone in there 
so we can do some lighting with the torches until I can get another means of light. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's just put torches on all sides that I can reach. That ought to be good for lighting right now. The only other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to install. Let's see, should I do torches? Nah, I'm not going to do that. I think I'll be able to get adequate light from that. Now that all of our lighting is done. Let's go ahead and switch to saplings. And we're going to start planting. I uh, sure hope I have enough. I sure won't. I'll be four short. Twenty-four is the magic number. Go grab those and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we grabbed a few more saplings. Just in time because it's getting pretty dark out here and we want to make sure we're inside. Now these saplings were actually from a different type of tree. This is from the kind of trees in the swamp, so they'll look a little bit different, but their wood is just as good as the other wood. In fact, they may be a little easier to harvest since their height's a little different. And I think we did a pretty good job here. I'd like to light the outside just a little bit for now. I'm still getting lost in this thing. There we go. Because it's really dark on the outside of here. I just want to place some torches randomly throughout the local terrain. Make sure there's no creepers. Just so I don't get any immediate spawn in the area. There we go. I think I'll be happy with that for now. Alright, we're going to get some sleep. And we're going to get us a little uh, a little bridge working, I think. We're going to be able to use the roof wood that we have for now. And then hopefully, the tree form will be able to produce in order to replenish our supplies for the project to come after that. So, let's get a little rest, shall we? Oh, no. Rise and shine here. And back out we go. So we've already got some wood set up. And we're going to start a little bit with that. First thing, I really need to tear down this door. Change a little bit of the, the stone. Right now. The docking, I'm going to, that's not what I wanted. I'd like to have a little docking here. Yeah, like that. And we'll just, let's see, I want it. I want the dock. I think that'll be perfect, actually. And we want to do... Let's see. 
see what we're gonna do here. I know what we're gonna do. I think all of this is good. Just double checking it. Yeah. All right. So let's do a little bit of underwater blocking. Just like that. And um, I think for what we'll need, we'll, well, we can actually do it with half blocks. That's fine. What we want is... Nah, I'd really like to do it with smooth blocks, I believe. Let's cook a little bit of smooth blocks. Do we have any coal? I think I took it all out of here. Yeah. So to make smooth stone, kind of like you see here, you want to cook blocks. Cook cobblestone, and that'll pretty much give it give it to you and you can make half slabs out of the smooth stone and get a real nice polished look and I apparently had some glass left over good I can always use that so while that's cooking let's go check on our wheat farm again a little slow to grow and I was thinking I can probably use some extra lighting here and here and I think that ought to shed enough light on to these right here so that's exactly what I'm, I'm just gonna put an overkill here just to make sure we have enough um, the lighting for the rest should be adequate and that should make you so let's go back and check on our cooked product Hope you guys like the projects thus far. Um, it really doesn't take a whole whole lot of uh, of research to figure out a good design, but I like kind of winging it until I get stuck. Most people um, out there that have published videos about this stuff have really refined pro <laughs> projects, and uh, while I'd like my stuff to be refined, I'd rather kind of wing it too, just to show you guys uh, my building method and um, kind of inspire your own as well. Um, while it's very, very cool, some of the stuff that's out there, um, I'd rather get inspired by some of the stuff I see than just create duplicate, even though they're absolute masterpieces and works of art. Um, not that I'm opposed to recreating stuff, because that's in a challenge in itself. Uh, just want to make sure that that we all have a lot of fun in this series. So let's start out with the 12 smooth stone. And that's a pressure plate. We don't need that. We want, yeah, we want those half slabs. And it takes quite a bit. Let's, let's go with that for now and see what that'll do. Now, what I want the half slabs for is boat docking. Boat docking is very, very cool on this stuff. It kind of just works. Um, you just pull your boat up to the half slabs, and it docks. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I don't think I can get that back, can I? Yeah, I actually can. Good. Okay. There we go. And there. And I'll show you guys how that works too and also how to craft a boat. As soon as I finish up with that. A few more to go. Seven will do for now. Three more. Actually six. Good. I still don't think that's going to be enough. I think we cooked enough stone, though. I'm going to go ahead and 
do it like this, just so I get it in line. I try not to drown to death while doing this project either. <laughs> Let's see. Only a couple more to grab. And we should be fine. Sorry about that noises in the background, guys. I'm getting texts. Oh, come on. Yeah, we're gonna waste the wood. Just to get that last one cooked. Excuse me just a second. Alright guys, sorry about that. Just had to do a little bit of a... Uh, off-screen message answering stuff. There we go. That should be the last bit of what we need. Oh no. That's not what we want. That's what we want. Now I admit, the water thing looks quite funny like that, but trust me, it is a, a real pleasure to actually use when you're docking boats. So anyway, now that we have the boat dock done. I'd like to open this up just a little bit more. Turn that into stone. That's pretty good. I don't think anything will spawn on that, on those half blocks. Although I do want to play some torches just to make sure that we have adequate lighting there. And I really don't like the way that looks either. Let's see what we can do about that. Can we just turn all of that to cobblestone? I didn't go far enough, I don't guess. Oh, this will work. There. And... I suppose that'll work. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, there you have it. There's a little docking system. I'll go ahead, going to... Oh, we have one more that we forgot. There we go. And just to demo it, I'll go ahead and build us a boat. Boat's just like a, uh, a U-shape with wood planks. And there you have it. A little boat. And you can plop a boat right in the water. And right click to use it. Sail around. That's me in a boat. And let's dock this puppy. Watch this. See that? Voila. Instant dock. Pretty neat, huh, guys? So, I'm going to cut the episode. I'm going to get some rest and probably build a bridge right over this section. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. This is Zulchin signing off and have a great day.